Hey everyone, welcome to DKFC Week 35 in the Premier League. We're talking a little special segment here, Choosers, Losers and Gems. That's right. I'm going to ask the panel here of Edo Delamonte, Jamie Hinks, and Tyrone Atkins. I'm going to say to them, guys, hey, Premier League, choose a guy, lose a guy. Tell us about a hidden gem, a little secret man you have. Who's your secret man? Jamie, tell me about your chooser, your loser, and your secret gem. Right, my chooser this week is uh, Diego Costa from Chelsea. Um, oh, Tyrone's face. Oh, he, my gosh. He scores a lot of goals when he's fit, and he has a lot of shots. And I I respect Bournemouth, how they've been this season, but I still don't think their back four is the thing, it's anything to write home about. And, yeah, I think Bournemouth are safe. Costa will want to prove something before he... I don't know whether he's going to leave in the summer or stay or Hope whatever. So. I think he'd probably want to play himself into the Spain squad for this summer because he hasn't been better than a lot of the other strikers. Um, and yeah, I think he's a good one to choose. One to lose, Shea Given. Awful against Tottenham. Um, for Stoke, he's got another tough game against one of his old clubs. I just don't think he's a very good keeper anymore. It's not. He's had a very good career, but he's on the, on the downturn. And I don't, yeah, he'll have a lot of shots. Life on doesn't it. begin at 40, does it, for some reason? <laughs> Not for Shea Given. <laughs> or me. Well, he'll get the Euros this summer, so it's yes. all right. Um, and then my gem is, I mentioned him earlier at one point, uh, Josh King from Bournemouth. Um, 4,400, four goals in six games. I think Chelsea will still struggle defensively, which I think they have every game almost under Hiddink. And um, yeah, I think 4,400 or any of the Liverpool players that me and Edo have made up. <laughs> yes, you so, completely uh, made them up. <laughs> this is basically... Conor Randall, Danny Ward, who's that one in the... Brad place? Smith. Brad Smith. <laughs> Brad Smith. <laughs> it's true that a dirty dozen. Who are these guys? <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah. All right, let's move on to Edo. Why don't you make up a few names to frustrate <laughs> Tyrone even more? This is pretty yeah, good. Make a player. Involved. George Glass. I've got a George Glass on my team. <laughs> Philip Smith. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, actually, we were discussing him earlier. I think my chooser is going to be Azmir Begovic if he actually plays. He, because this is his chance and because he was so good before he came to Chelsea, this is an opportunity. I do respect the man a lot. I do have the same questions you have about whether he's your title winning goalkeeper. You know, put him in the Champions League. We'll see. However, against Bournemouth, there'll be a lot of sort of enthusiasm from Bournemouth. Maybe not so much accuracy, but. He will have saves to make, I think, in that game. We did say it was going to be one of the hardest to call for this weekend. So I think he could be a very good buy indeed. The loser, I'll have to agree with you, Shea Given. What else can we say, really? I mean, that defence hasn't been very good. He hasn't been very good. And, uh, yeah, I don't see him changing it. We'll turn things around anytime soon. And the hidden gem, he's not very hidden, but, you know, coming off the bench... He's going to get better, and now he's, he seems to have gotten over his problems. Daniel Sturridge. I mean, yes, he's expensive, but, you know, this is his chance to shine. So uh, I'm going with him. Tyrone, CLG me. Hit me with a chooser, your loser, and your gem. All right, my chooser, yeah. I, I, I was thinking of Guerrero, but it's too obvious. I think our choosers should be kind of have a hidden gem element to it. And, sure. Mm. And, 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 you know, and, and factor in who these people are playing. So I am going for none other than Sugar Shane Long <laughs> as my chooser. <laughs> because... He's, he's great. I, I'm one of his biggest fans. I mean, I'm a bigger fan of Pella. <laughs> obvious, oh, obvious, of course. Oh. For loads of reasons. Is the table moving up wide? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have a Sugar Shane Long, as I like to call him. Uh, I think he's great. You said it earlier. He's got a great record against Villa. Um, he's got a banging nickname now, courtesy of me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he should have a good day there. He should. Everyone you just has gave a good him that day. nickname to his buddy. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, I've got a better nickname for his buddy. Anyway, uh, so I've got for Shane Long. I think he should have a good one. Malusa, Malusa. I was sort of torn between two. One, simply because his form and his energy has dropped quite dramatically late. I was thinking of Mares, but I don't want it to be so. I, I want him to kick back in. I want him to, <coughs> to, to win player of the year without any kind of uh, competition. But he has looked absolutely knackered lately. So I'm worried about him. But I'd also go for Peter Cech, who's a god to me uh, for his Chelsea days, obviously. But he hasn't been playing too well for Arsenal. Uh, the defence have not been giving him too much cover. And I, I reckon he will concede at Sunderland. I genuinely do. So I would say Mares or Cech, those would be my two losers this week. Although I do love you, Peter Cech. Uh, my hidden gem, yeah, it's hard to find a hidden gem. I could easily come up and invent a Liverpool player at this point. You know, <laughs> Nigel Rosen or something. He's, he's good, isn't he, Jamie? Hey? 2.1 thousand, but of course... Uh, 5.1 fantasy points per game. Right. <laughs> <laughs> of course. This guy does not exist, so you can't be picking him. He'd be a rubbish hidden gem. Uh, I, I, 
I'm going to forry. These guys are a lot brighter than me that these guys do exist, right? <laughs> <laughs> like Connor Randall and <laughs> Kevin yeah. Nash and, and, and <laughs> whatever. Kevin Nash. I'm probably, I'm Big probably Daddy Cool D. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Scott Hall, <laughs> Diamond Dallas Page, all the others, yeah. right, that are playing. But uh, I'm going to go, my head of gem is going to be Andros Townsend. Uh, he's playing out of his skin, everybody. He's 5.6 thousand, not the cheapest, but I think he's a, currently he's an impact player. He has been playing excellent. He's been doing me proud. He's been getting me lots of points. And I reckon he will do at Anfield for you as well, DraftKings. You've heard it here. Choosers, losers, and gems. I'm sure you have your own that you want to put on your squad. But why don't you make your squad? Go to DraftKings.co.uk. Welcome to the big time.